we are discussing about GNR diode. What is this diode? We have seen PN diode, PN junction diode. This is GNR. Where this concept is coming from? Is it different from PN diode? No. Diode means it always. Whenever we are joining a p-type semiconductor with an n-type semiconductor, then only we are calling that as a diode. But this GNR diode, specifically, even though it is a p-n diode, but p-type semiconductor and n-type semiconductor, both the semiconductors are heavy lead -on. These two semiconductors, the p and n semiconductors we are taking are heavy lead -on because of that, the electric field formed is intensive and the depletion region width is very small. The depletion region width is very small and the electric field in this depletion region is very intensive. And if we are increasing the voltage until the breakdown, after that, if, until the breakdown, there is a small amount of current. That's what we are calling as a reverse saturation current. It is the main. And after the breakdown, if you are increasing, trying to increase the voltage, the voltage will not increase. Suddenly the current rises. Even though we are incrementing the voltage, assume if the GNR breakdown voltage is 5 volts. Until the 5 volts, if we are giving 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4 volts, the voltage across the GNR diode is 4 volts. After 4.5, 4.5, 5 volts if we are giving 5 volts. If we are giving 6 volts, the DNR diode does not accept the 6 volts. It says, I am satisfied with the 5 volts. If you are giving 7 volts, DNR diode only taking the 5 volts. So even after the breakdown, if we are trying to increase the voltage, the voltage across the DNR diode remains constant. But the current is increasing tremendously. So to control this current definitely we require a external resistance. So we have to take the GNR diode in such a way that this current should be withstand by that diode. So we prefer silicon compared to silicon. Because silicon has the capability to control or to withstand higher currents compared to germanium. The forbidden energy gap in germanium is 0 .0, 0 0.7 and forbidden energy gap in silicon is 1.1 and the potential barrier in germanium is 0 0.3 normally. For silicon is 0 0.7. From these two aspects we can understand compared to germanium, silicon has the capability to withstand the more amount of the current. Now we are calling the silicon. So whenever GNR diode you are saying that GNR diode should be made by using the silicon. So P and N type semiconductors are made by using the silicon. Now after the breakdown the current is increasing. This current can be controlled only by adding the external resistance. What resistance we can use? Whether it is carbon or vibon. If we strictly speak the Resistance we have to use for controlling this current is wire bomb. Wire bomb because huge amount of current. Only wire bomb resistors can withstand the huge amount of current. This is the electrical circuit symbol of GNR diode. Normal PN diode electrical circuit symbol is this. So GNR diode, what is the difference between this symbol and this symbol? Only a Z shape is observed at the cathode. This is the difference between normal PN diode and GNR diode. This is the electrical equivalent symbol of GNR diode. It is representing with a resistance and a battery. Normal battery. So this is GNR diode. Where we will use GNR diode? GNR diode is especially used for voltage regulators. Whenever we want to regulate the voltage, so GNR diode should be used. So where we use it practically? Practically we use GNR diode in reverse bias condition. Can we use before breakdown? GNR diode does not have application before breakdown. Only after the breakdown we are using the GNR diode for maintaining the voltage constant throughout the circuit. Okay? In the next class, we will be discussing about VA characteristics of Zener.